made some room. I'm gonna move around a little bit today. Anyway, in this video, I'm gonna go over seat covers. So I mentioned in my last video, I went in a different direction on our 2007 precedent rebuild. Uh, I was gonna go with these mods tan seats. I was hopeful that they were a little bit closer to the wheel color. So I wasn't completely sold. I did go with a different brand that we'll talk about. I mean, we'll do a little bit of a comparison. Let's get started. So here's where we're at. I took the tape off of this corner. For some reason, all this foam is missing. So I robbed some foam off of a mattress cover, and we're going to stick some in there and rejuvenate this uh, corner of this seat. We'll tape it over just to make sure that when we do have the cover on here, it, it's not dipping down. The other side is similarly taped up, but it doesn't have the indentation scenario. Well, you know what? I think we're gonna have to pull that off and see what's going on under there. There might be something similar going on. And we'll have to stuff that a little bit with foam because I don't wanna put my new seat cover over all of this. And then that'll just be a real big weak spot. So let's pull this tape off. We'll see what's up. Uh, a little bit of a hole in there too. So, all right, we'll fix this up as well. It's so weird that the driver's side is not as bad as a passenger. It's normally not the case. All right, that's good enough. So we'll get to that in a second. So again, what we ended up buying, a uh, company I found on Amazon, and it's a similar seat. So I cheated and I did the back already. But it's a cool looking style. It is a little bit different than what we have here so there isn't such a piping line on the edges so i feel that in doing these I, I recovered these as well i feel like this mods cover is a little bit more forgiving as far as lines go so i was trying to keep this piping in a good place and i wasn't able to pull in as tight because i didn't want to drag this all the way down so that's a little bit of what I experienced so far. Uh, it does have the, the seat came with this nice little cover that covers up all of your staples that are in the back of it. So it comes out looking great. So is it worth, you know, the extra hundred bucks to go with the other one? I'm not, I'm not so convinced. I am maybe a little bit concerned about longevity. See this little cut right here? All I did was touch the seat bolt and that's where that came from. So I'll probably get a little bit of a fabric repair on that and just get that sealed up so it doesn't, you know, grenade on us too prematurely. Let me get around the other side and we'll look at it straight on. So toughest part, just make sure that these guys are lined up. So I center marked the bottom, pulled the bottom and started in the center first. And I did the same thing with the top one so that we could at least ensure that those lines are completely straight as you're looking at it straight on. So again, overall for the price and so forth, it's, it's really good. The padding is a little bit thicker than in the mods one, but I do think that this material, I, I think the mods is a bit of a higher quality material. Um, there's a ton of padding in these other ones, which I'll show you in a second when we unwrap the front seat. A uh, little bit different. The mods ones also come with a trim ring that you'll be able to use. I'll talk about that one on the first on the on this seat back. You're gonna need I stand corrected a touch. I was mentioning that the mod seat comes with a trim ring, and I just unboxed this for the back seat, and it comes with a trim ring as well. Which once I get this on, I'll talk a little bit more about that. This is the trim ring out of this seat cover, and this is this is what comes with the uh, mods one. So same difference, but just a little bit different. You'll see here the padding on this one is a bit thicker, which is nice. But 
you know, not all too, too different. Um, this is, again, this is the seat cover for the, the rear seat, and this is our, this is our precedent seat. So, um, we'll get this heated up in the dryer and probably just start stapling the baby on. So, cue the montage, I guess. So just real quick about these precedent backrests, this plastic does not come off. It's glued on. So when you do do these new covers, you end up bringing them in and staple them here. There's nothing here that'll, I mean, you could obviously rip it off, but it's glued on. So just in case you weren't aware, with this but briefly the next step would be to take these trim ring step strips and then go back around and make it look neat because this would normally be exposed but Amazon does have these covers that I've found that give it the more finished look and I definitely prefer that for when you're looking at the back seat so Instead of it being all exposed and looking in there, it will match the front. So let's go ahead. I mean the rear. It'll match the rear because these usually come with these covers. So let's uh, button this seat on there and see how she looks. So real briefly, and we'll put these away, this is why I ended up going with black. I just really didn't think that the tan went with the wheels as well as I had hoped. Uh, I love these seats, obviously. We did them on that one, so uh, I will keep these for another cart in the future. I'm not going to send them back because I believe this line is uh, discontinued. So we'll hang on to them, and we'll build another one, and we'll do a color scheme that we think these seats will fit really good with. In the meantime, pretty happy with these guys. Uh, came out really good. I think they fit and pull better. And, and I mean, they're, this seat cover is obviously designed for the precedent, right? So they fit really nice on the seat that they're meant for. You know, potentially some of the bagginess that I have on this back one is just because, you know, it is a bit universal. Uh, I think it's essentially the only two differences is if you've got the double swing there you know right the other style has one that comes up here so i think that's really the only differences so so far with the precedent seat itself real nice fit it pulled over real good if you notice uh, i had to take apart one side pull it back a little bit further and restaple it and then with our covering it's all hidden behind everything if i was to be critical about one little thing it would just be that the bottom here seems to be pulled up a little bit. I'd like that to be a little further down, but I think I think they look really good, especially for the price point. And they stapled good. The staples weren't ripping out. 
or through the material. So that was good. And uh, so now that's it. Last seat to deal with. This is bottom one, which is obviously the most work. So here we go with that. By the way, the color here is saddle. So I like the seats. I like the color. It just, I felt like it didn't jive totally with the wheels that we went with. So is what it is. So back outside, I want to refinish the handles or the hip holders or whatever these are. Anywho, these rub the body, right? It didn't do it on this side, but for some reason, this one rubs the body all the time. I'm just going to sand this down so maybe it won't hit in the future, but it is pretty rubbed down here and that's comes in direct contact. So sand this down quick. Clean it off again, and I'm just going to spray them with that bumper and trim. I did brake clean these off, so they should be ready to accept it. We'll hit it with a little of that adhesion promoter and uh, then paint them up with the trim paint. So, I should turn around this way. This isn't exactly any type of exact science. I'm not an official upholsterer. But I think this is going to get us where we want to be. A little bit more right there. And then, yeah, I think that'll do it. Just want it to be flat for the most part. All right. I did do the other side. That one was a much, much smaller hole. So I think that's going to be great. So those covers, they, when you put them on, they're going to come around and you staple them down here. So this is not exposed anymore because just like the top, this is glued on. There's no bolts or anything like that under here. So you end up coming over with it. So it's on, the corners were difficult. So when the precedent just cut down, I would hammer these on first and then cut it and then come in here. And you can actually position the gun in and as you're pulling it, it'll actually pull this tighter. So it came out pretty good and I'm pretty happy. We'll see here in a second how it fits on the cart. So, not too shabby, huh?
Look at that. We are so, so close from being done here. Got a couple more little things to do. So looking pretty sweet. So, hey, thanks for watching. That's going to wrap it up for the seats portion of this build. So appreciate you guys being here. And my buddy Lou wants to remind you, please like and subscribe if you're enjoying our content. Have a great day.